What's up guys, it is me Dominator and today we're going to be playing Roblox Expedition Antarctica. It's this really fun expedition game where you basically just have to get to the South Pole. It's a pretty good obby but um, it disguises itself as an obby. So um, we're just going to um, grab all the stuff we're going to need and um, head out on our long, long journey to the South Pole. This is um, like, it's just going to be a start to finish thing unless we die. That will make me sad. But um, So if we don't die then um, this is just going to be a start to finish. If we do die it's going to be me a parody of me failing. Hmm. Fun. Anyway, um, yeah, so, um, we're just gonna get into it, um, I have, um, played this game before, I'm pretty, um, good with the, um, the ways I have to go and stuff, um, I've forgotten a bit of it, but, um, oh, look, an orca, yeah, they recently updated the game, it was like, yesterday or something as i'm doing this it's the last day of may i think um they updated it yesterday or something i don't know i played it again yesterday um i haven't played in a while but um yeah there's now orcas in it and um i'm gonna have a little surprise for you once we get to um a certain special place yeah, this game's really fun. There's a bunch of different stuff you can do. You can represent different countries. But um, it's kind of tricky because um, there are no checkpoints except when you get to the three camps that are along the way. Um, it's pretty easy, some of the bits in it. It's pretty easy, but um, you want to watch your footing. That's the main issue, it's your footing it's you're just so likely to just miss a step and fall to your doom which yeah it's really cheery so um we're just gonna keep on walking around here look there's another orca they only spawn in the daytime i don't know why they don't come out at night but that's just the way they're made so look there's an orca over there yeah there's an orca over there and um if we come through here Goodbye, Orca. Um, yeah, if we come through here, then we have um, this waterfall area. Um, it's a pretty simple um, bit. Over there, um, I'm just going to walk you through it. So, um, what you're going to do is, is, I've got this waterfall, it's so loud. Sorry if this is really loud. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to jump up here, the and then once you get to this area, don't get scared and jump straight away you want to walk pretty far down it and then jump otherwise you won't make the jump you have to walk like down that curvature bit and then make the jump else um well you might not make it across so um it's a pretty fun game you've got to make sure that you um don't run out of energy you can only use this energy bar once so save it up um, don't run out of water because um, every time you use it, it fills up 10% and you lose 10%. So um, it, this game's really peaceful because um, it's got some in interesting mechanics, definitely. And um, I'm definitely not just saying words that I don't know what they mean. Um, yeah, so I have an expedition count of 6, which means I'm ranked skilled. Um, you get expedition counts by completing your expedition, which means getting to the South Pole. And um, it's really cool once you get there. It, it, you, it just fills you with the sense of immense ac accomplishment because of the music and the way you're just running there to the South Pole area. It's so good. Right, this is a tricky bit. What you want to do is you want to get on it and go in li little short bursts really short little burst just to get across you don't you don't want to fall even though it doesn't look too high you will die i know from experience you will die right we made it across luckily um so then you get here 
if you have five or more um, skill counts, you can go up the advanced route, but I'm not going to do that because um, one of trying it is really tricky. Um, and because I just want to um, play the game, just show you guys all the interesting stuff in it. And um, yeah, so we're just going to walk across the suspending ladders. Don't ask about gravity. <laughs> we don't care about that. We just like suspending ladders. Yeah, so, um, we have been, um, yeah, this game will probably be, um, changed at some point, um, I'm not so sure, but, um, I know that they're definitely going to change it at some point. Okay, so we made it across that really weird bridge, and, um, if you don't know where you're meant to be going, then just follow these lights on poles. You just want to make sure you follow them, and um, yeah, you should be good. You want to follow them. Um, you can go around there. That's the, the more normal route, but I just like to do that. So uh, where do we go next? I forgot, which means I'm stupid. Okay, there we go. Up this way. Um, you do get a badge for doing certain things. There we go, guys. We made it to Mount Kirkpatrick with... Um, no falls or injuries or anything. Mount Kirkpatrick. Which means we're halfway there to base camp one. So um, this game does save once you get to base camps. Um, or rather camps, not base camp. Base camp is... Um, so if you get... Say you got to camp two and um, you left the game. Um, when, it, when you join back in, it will give you the option to go to camp two instantly or um, st start back at base camp. Um, I was at camp one before I made this video, but um, I thought, eh, why not? Because uh, otherwise it wouldn't make much sense. So there is definitely bits where you really need to be careful because um, you, you will die. This it's ri it's pretty hard if you miss a jump or something something uh don't bother too much about um that that bit but you do really want to make sure that you don't die cuz uh then you'll start right back at the beginning uh, unless of course you got to a camp perfect right just going to climb up this ladder and um there we go. Um, you have to be really careful with bits like that because if you like jump off then you you probably won't die but you'll lose some health. Trust me. So um, you don't want to just jump down it because it's quicker. Okay so um, guys we're actually doing really well. i um, just going to eat this energy bar because I'm getting pretty low. Um, so we've made it to the um, penguin place. Explorers visit. Yeah, the Ross Ice Shelf. It's really loud in the Ross Ice Shelf because um, it's really windy. But um, we should be fine because um, yeah, we should be fine. Um, if you um, don't want to make your ears bleed, don't go near that radio tower. Trust me, it's not fun to go near that radio tower. to go look explorers code um it shows you where to go you just want to follow this red line um i i have already um if you want to get this badge um oh what the okay i'm upside down um oh nice twinkle music anyway um if you want to get a badge um i can't remember what it's called but i've already got it it's where um well i can tell you in a second Right, you see this abyss, if you swim down to the bottom then you get a badge, but trust me, you won't survive swimming back up. Now, um, I'm just going to be on the lookout because, look, sky seals! Look how cute that is, it's amazing. They look so good, look at them. They're, they're pretty, they're a bit sharp on the corners, but um, they're actually really well done. Once you've got past um, Explorer's Cove, you don't really have to go very far. Um, 
um, to get back to um, to get to Camp One because um, yeah, it's really not too bad. So um, most of the time um, you'll get out of this place if you've done it right with three or two or three um, bubbles. So there we have it, um, we've got through Explorer's Cove, and um, if I just go over this, look, you can see from that search and rescue area that that means we've got to camp one. Um, yeah, we've got to camp one. Uh, this video might go quite long, because um, I'll be going straight from the start to the finish. But that's that's basically how you get to camp one, we made it. Um, there's a bunch of different like game passes you can buy, so you get um, oh, yeah. There's a bunch of different game passes you can get, so you can get different suits and stuff. But um, it's pretty dangerous to go out right now because it's getting dark. It will definitely become night very soon, which is not good. But um, yeah, we'll be fine. That sign said avalanche area. Um, that barely ever happens. I've only ever had an al avalanche once, and I've played this game like ten times or more. But yeah, the avalanche is really nothing to worry about. The only time I've ever been in an avalanche, barely anything happened. Honestly, I'm not sure what the purpose of them is. I don't know whether it's supposed to scare you or... Yeah, I really don't know with the um, avalanches, but um, yeah, we're just going to walk along and very soon we should be getting to the first parkour bit. Now, once you've got to camp one, um, things start heating up a bit. Well, not really. Once you've got to camp one, things start cooling down, but not in a good way. Like, uh, I don't mean the temperature starts dropping. Um, and I'm not going to say heating up because it because that wouldn't make any sense. But it gets a bit more stressful. It gets harder. Um, the jumps start getting bigger. You have to be very precise. Um, I don't want to worry you guys really because it's honestly nothing to worry about. This game is honestly nothing to worry about. It's really fine. So, um... Yeah, we're just going to um, go up here and it's night. Brilliant. Um, once you put your hat on, I'd recommend going over to this icon and turning everything on except storm goggles because you have to pay Robux for that. Um, so i turn everything on, it really helps because look, I have a, a torch beam. If there's someone with me, then I, um, it flashes a blue light so they can see where I am. See, there it goes. Right, this bit I don't like, it's pretty hard. Um, I mean, it's not too hard, but you really want to be careful and don't do that. Sheesh. Okay, guys. Um, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm really just um, jumping along. And then you want to climb up this. Perfect. Head up this way. And um, soon we'll be getting to the highest point in the game. I'm, you get a badge for that. Oh, and every place you make it to, like... When I made it to camp one, um, you click the checkpoint and um, it gives you a bit of money as you can see in the um, in the bottom right, well not bottom bottom right, like sort of in the middle right. You can buy boosters like speed, jump, blah blah blah, a bunch of other stuff and um, sometimes it can be really useful, sometimes like you don't really need to spend them all that much, spend coins all that much. Um, you can definitely do it without boosters. I'm not going to buy any boosters for this because um, I just want to go through it nice and proper. Right, um, this bit you'll be wondering where to go. What you're going to do is you're going to start heading down here. You really need to be careful with this. It's one wrong move and you could fall to your death. So um, you want to be careful on going down. Um, I really hope I'm not making a mistake here, because that would be embarrassing. I think I have. Have I? Tell me, game. I think I might have. Um, 
I'm not Um Yeah, I don't think I was meant to Oh no, yeah, I still do sti still want to keep on going down, I think. Okay, don't jump like I just did. I was just trying to see where I was going. Do not jump on this bit. You will die. Um Alright. Oh, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Um can't remember this, which is annoying. This map doesn't exactly help, don't really bother with it. Uh yeah, don't think I need to go down there. Um is it along here further? Yeah, those are the lights that I just went through, I think. I'm just going to head to the lights, because, um... Oh. Uh-oh. Invisible wall. That means I'm not meant to go this way. Which means... I've gone wrong. Which means I'm going wrong on camera. Ah, put this on. Stupidest moments of this century. Okay, so, um... Yeah, don't go down in that bit, or, um, you might do, but, um, that just wasn't the right place. I took a wrong turn or something. I'm not meant to go up here either, seriously. No, that can't be right. Yeah, that can't be right, I am. Okay, so, I'm back up here. There's the lights. That I can't go to. What are you talking about, game? What are you talking about? Oh, something's gone horribly wrong. Is it a hex bomb? Um, yeah, something's gone bad. Something. Look, that ladder I went across. That ladder I went across, yes. Yeah. Then what did I want to do? Yeah, so I've gone across this ladder. Oh. Um. I think I meant... Do I go up? Do I go up? Yeah, don't I go along this? Ah, what the? What's going on? This is not good, guys. Uh. doesn't usually happen. Sh surely I'm meant to either go up or down. So I came this way. I went that way. Is, does the, will the map help me? Go on map, help me. That's not helpful. Wait. Yeah, this isn't very helpful right now. I'm stuck. I'm very stuck. Uh, I must have had to go down then. Yeah, that's what must have happened. Just gonna try and go down in a kind of straight line. And just hope that this is the right way. Please be right way. I need an energy bar rather than just gone past camp one. There, I can see again. I need to be up there. Those ladders. That's the bit of parkour I need to do. Oh, okay. Someone's telling me that there's an avalanche in camp one and up. Oh, players! What is going on with this game right now? Honestly. Yes, I, I do this. I go across this. Then what? You're an amateur. You, you know the way. 
You'll choose something. Tell me you know the way. Where, where are we meant to go? You don't know the way at all, do you? Okay. Oh, yes, we're meant to follow that around. Okay, guys. Um, we finally made it with a bit of help. Uh, well done, me. Um, yep, pro player I am. Anyway, there we go, guys. We finally made it, and we're heading to the highest point in the game. Whew, just gotta rest, finally. Made it. Passed. Ugh. La la la. Avalanche and camp one and upwards. Even though there is not. Da 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 Beautiful scenery, definitely. So the highest point is in the 1400s. It starts getting a bit windy up here. down here we've pretty much reached camp 2 so as you can see from that side up ahead is an icy ladder um, that thing's gonna start tipping you not like the ladder's gonna move oh no this guy dies he died here he, he wasn't ready so the icy ladder the tactic is just keep on jumping yeah you can see it's moving me to the side a bit oh they fell well done them goodbye I'm leaving you. Um, okay, so um, that's what you want to do there. So, um, yeah, the icy ladder's going to try and, like, push you off because of the ice. It's really slippery. Um, yeah, we've gone down the Northridge Pass. We're almost at Camp 2, look, on the map. We've gone past Mount Vincent. So we're pretty, we're pretty much pa uh, almost at Camp 2. So, um... Yeah, let's just get there, because um, we can do this. We can do this, guys. Is this guy actually just letting me go first, see if I die? Thanks, mate. Okay, so, um, yeah, we just need to head down here. And then, once we've gone down here, we're pretty much at camp, too. Um, once you're past camp 2, um, there's honestly not much else until you've got to the end. You've almost made it. Bruv, stop jumping, you're gonna kill yourself. Yeah, don't you don't want to jump at this bit until you're going up here. Whilst you're heading down in this game, never jump. You will um, miss the ledge and die. And if there's no ledge, you're just jumping because there's a bit sticking out because it's quicker, you will lose health. You may not die, but you will lose health. And, that's, and you don't want to lose health. You do have three lives in this game, in case you die. Um, and once you lose all three, even if you're at, say, Camp 2, even if you're at Camp 2 and you lose all three lives, you, that's it, expedition over, you're back at base camp. Right, this bit's pretty hard. You want to um, be careful with this if you go too far forward then you'll just carry yourself off the edge so um yeah we're almost there guys come on right as you can see that rope over there um it, it's difficult it's really difficult um yeah it's really thin you really need to be careful um, my tactic is to just use short bursts to get across. Some people like to go in first person and go short bursts. It's it's difficult, guys, trust me. 
Like, maybe you find everything that I've said is difficult easy, but I promise you, this is difficult. Look at him. He's taking it risky. Um, sometimes you will sort of fall, like, it'll just go kind of weird. Um, don't worry, you should be fine as long as you, um, don't panic. I'm alive. Don't do that. Don't try and use that as a shortcut. It's... I shouldn't have done that, and I didn't mean to. But... The good thing is I'm alive. Right, yeah. Be careful, guys. Oh, God. Did you guys see that? If that happens to you, don't panic. There's camp two over there. Um, if that happens to you, do not panic. You will be fine. Sound like I'm a safety guard or something. Okay, guys. Last rope. This one is thin, but luckily it's pretty short. But you need to be careful. Look, he's going to make it to camp two. Yeah, he's just quickly checking the map, but you really don't need to at this point. So yeah, we're at 20% um, health, but uh, we'll be fine with that. We can work with that. Yeah, so um, once you get down here, we've pretty much made it. That's it, guys. Camp 2. La 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 Right, perfect. 20% health. Um, we're doing okay. We're not doing too bad, guys. So, um, yeah, we've made it to camp two. Um, getting to camp three, it's honestly not very hard. Trust me, guys, it's not very hard. Um, yeah. Go, camp two. Let's take an extra energy bar, I'll eat it and take another. Um, and we'll be heading out to um, the next camp, camp three. Um, night is gonna slowly fall, it'll go from 2.30 to 5.30, then it'll go to 9. And it gets dark out here. So... We're in Antarctica, really, and we're heading to the South Pole, that's our mission. Doesn't matter if you touch the water just there, honestly, as long as you get out of it quick, uh, you should be fine. It does do a little bit of damage, but um, no nothing to really hurt you. You more than likely won't die. Okay, guys, so, um, this bit, you can pick two paths. I'd recommend going down the left one. I tried that right one w once. It didn't go well. Um, I recommend this one, that path. Um, the, the middle ladder is a little wobbly on that path, but it's much easier. Right, I see ladder. You guys remember the tactic? Perfect. And, um, yeah, we're just going to, um... Okay, guys, so, um, this thing gets a tiny bit complicated, but I'll explain it to you, um, because it's kind of weird. Um, so, you're going to jump across these, right, and then, uh, look, you're going to see lots of flat ground. Look, plenty of flat ground with a bit of snow on it. Don't touch the ground. You do. It's actually really unstable ice. Look, I'm going to show you. Look, I touch it too much, it begins thawing. And you will fall through and you'll die. So you want to stay on the snow as much as possible. And we have to get in the um, in the hole. Oh look, rescue helicopter. Yeah, there's a guy in there. I, I would thaw him out. We actually can thaw him and save him. I mean, we can't save him, but still. Yeah, so um, how was that bit breaking? Okay, so just trying to remember which which 
one I have to go down. I think it's this one here. This one here. Yeah. Yeah, it is this one. Yeah, you want to go down the end one to the left. And look, we're in caves. Um, yeah, we have some caves. Um, the water's safe to touch. Look, it's pretty safe. Um, until near the end. Once you get nearer to the end of this area, um, the water damages you. It gets really cold. Right, I'm just going to swim in it a lot. Right, um, if you don't go that ladder, um, you will be fine if you don't use up here, but the water will damage you there. Past this ladder, the water begins to damage you. So, um, yeah, we're just going to walk through here, and then um, I don't think it matters which path you take. I always take the right one, because I, yeah, it doesn't really matter which path you take, and it doesn't matter if you fall. Then you go through this right hole, and yeah, this is the bit, um, I think this is the bit where the water hurts a lot. 3% damage. Does it? Oh no, the water doesn't hurt, the, the fall did. Okay, we're fine. Just keeping an eye on my health, just in case I'm wrong. Okay, no, the water doesn't hurt you, it's just the damage from the fall. Okay. So, um, yeah, well, guys, we're not doing too bad. We're almost at camp three, guys. So, um, this bit's a bit tricky. Um, you really gotta time the jumps just right. Else, uh, you'll fall and, well, you might not die, but, um, with the current health I'm on, I might die. Yep, that was another icy ladder. This is kind of hard. Look, as you can see, um, the fake guy died on it. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Um, you want to get yourself to the edge of the ladder and then sort of push yourself towards the side of the ladder and the ladder hitting your body will like turn it and then if you're lucky um, it'll you'll start climbing if you'll attach to it and start climbing okay guys so um we're just gonna go through here and um yeah we're just gonna um Okay guys, so as you can see from the sign up ahead over there, do you guys see it? It has penguin on it, because um, there's going to be penguins through here, and there'll be a backpack penguin. If you find it and touch it, with your mouse or whatever, um, then you get a bad, and it gives you an extra energy bar. You can tell that this is camp 3 by, look, crashed plane. We're so nearly there guys. Um, if you've managed to reach this far in the video, I, I salute you. I congratulate you if you've reached this far. Um, just to show you what I mean, I'm going to try and find the backpack penguin. Um, I haven't seen it in a while, so there's only four penguins, it seems. Those two aren't backpack penguin. You're not backpack penguin. Oh. Oh. Where's the backpack penguin gone? Um, never mind that, then. Anyway, camp three, here we are, we guys, we made it. Right, this bit, once we're at camp three, it's actually really easy now. So 300 points. Right, all we have to do is cross this area and we've made it. And look, this is another one of those horrible things. Right, um, there's a certain pattern to where you need to go. I don't want to do this in the dark, but um, it'll take too long to just wait. Actually, I'll cut the video. Um, we're, we're not doing this in the dark, no way. Okay, see you in the morning, guys. Oh. Oh. Um, hello again, guys. Um, I've decided now. It's only 3 a.m., but this is when we make our move. We're gonna um, head over now. Gonna try and um, get past this. Um, does it have a name? I can't remember. Let's see. Um, the Beardmore Glacier. This is the. This is it. Yep, the Beardmore Glacier. Glacier, glacier. I, I can't speak. Why? Yeah, 
uh, the noises in it make it really creepy. Um, it fills it, the game with suspense in it, because, um, yeah, the, oh god, I almost fell down that, and I've only got 17% health. Um, if we die here, honestly, it won't matter too much, we should be okay, because, um, oh, I went too far. Um, camp 3 is only just back there, see, it's only just over there, and, um, yeah, so, um, we're gonna try and complete this, um, it's actually not too bad, honestly, you, you need to be careful with it though, you really need to be careful, like that, be careful, right, this bit is pretty hard, we gotta try and get in front of it, perfect, please don't get my arm caught, perfect, perfect, right, uh, I can't remember where we jump over, So we just walk across here, across here, and across here, then we head over this, then this, and then we start going this way, and um, at some point, though I can't remember when, um, we need to be on that side. Uh, where's the jump again? Is it here? Ah, that was not right. Oh, okay, that was not right. Well, I just did. Don't copy that. That's not where the jump was. Wait, can I get? Oh, there's a guy in search and rescue costumes. Right, so um, to get yourself started, can I put my boots on? Okay, yeah. You want to turn everything on. If I turn helmet off. Um, okay, that just takes it off. Okay, guys. Um, right, we're just gonna try it again. This time we're in daylight, so um. That will really help us. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's go into this. Okay, so guys, we're gonna try and cross the be beard more glacier or glacier, however you want to say it. it. Honestly, does not matter. Um. So I I, I feel like I'm just gonna repeat myself for this, but. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go across here, um, yeah, the noises, though, the noises, this game would probably be fine, um, this bit would, it's so intense, it's just so intense, um, also, comment down below, um, what different games I should put in the channel, because, um, we can't keep on playing Roblox, Fortnite, Roblox, Fortnite, Minecraft, Roblox, Fortnite, The Isle, Roblox, Fortnite, um, we, we have to have some variety, so um, comment down below, what game should we play? What different games? Like, just tell me, um, and I'll look into them. And, um, oh yeah, they have to be uh, PC playable. Um, I might be able to do some Xbox games, because um, I do have an Xbox. Um, I honestly don't know whether um, I'll be able to... Uh, do them on Xbox, um, so I mostly will need a PC then. Um, the jump could be just here, no it's not, but if we're down here that sort of makes it easier now. So um, if you do want to, um, we don't really want to go down there. never mind, I take it back, I don't want to be up down here. Um, I think we can just yeah, we can just miss that crossing out. Oh, I can't get out. I'm going to have to go back and find somewhere to get out. Oh, there's no way out. There's no way out. Okay, guys, um, we made it out. Um, don't go down there, actually. It won't work. Um, look, we're so close. Once we're at the end of the Beardmore Glacier, um, Glacier, Glacier, who cares? Um, it, that'll be it. We'll have made it. Right, I think I want to cross there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think it's this way. Yeah. Yes, yes. Perfect, perfect. Here it is. That's it, guys. We have done it. We have crossed the Beardmore Glacier.
Now we just need to run and find the South Pole Pole. Look, listen to this inspirational music. I just love it. Yes. That's it, guys. We've made it. Oh, look. There's a head plane as well. There it is, guys. Do you see those flags? I'm not presenting the Czech Republic, so you see all these flags? That's it guys, we've done it. I'm representing the Czech Republic as you can see above my name. So once we go to the South Pole, look, the flag has appeared and it has my name. That's right guys, we've done it. And this deserves a celebration. Yes, we did it. Yes, yes, let's hear it, woo! Um, before I end off this video, I just want to see what this does. Plane to base camp. Oh, I can enter a plane to base camp? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I never knew that. They, um, they updated it. Okay, guys. Um, that's going to end it to today's video. Um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And, um, well, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to use my tactics. And goodbye, guys. Woo!